The federal government has been called upon to declare a state of emergency on shortage of healthcare workforce in Nigeria. This is as a result of the migration of healthcare workers to foreign countries in recent years with focus on clinical oncologists, that is, cancer doctors. This call was made at a press briefing in Abuja organized by the project Pink Blue with support from the ACT Foundation. The executive director of the project Pink Blue, Runsi Chidebe, in his submission said by 2030, Nigeria will have a shortage of over 50,000 doctors and over 137,000 nurses due to the stark realities of reports of migrating health workers. According to him, 9 in 10 Nigerian physicians are seeking opportunities abroad, and this has had impact in Nigeria in diverse ways. He called on the federal government to do all it takes to ensure that our healthcare workers remain in the country. In Nigeria, there are about 74,543 registered physicians. However, only an estimated 40,000 are practicing in the country for a population of 201 million. Within Nigeria, the rural migration, the rural urban migration, has also caused great imbalance in distribution of healthcare workers and distorted access to quality care. The reason for this problematic migration is not far-fetched. You know, issues around high clinical workload, poor healthcare system, poor remuneration, corruption in the healthcare system, poor working condition, security challenges, inadequate production of graduates from the health training institutes, lack of necessary facilities, poor value for medical professionals and other training needs. According to the organization, is aimed at supporting the federal government's efforts in cancer control. A cancer survivor and program coordinator of Project Pink Blue, Gloria Oku, who spoke on the upgrade oncology in her remark, said the primary focus is on training of oncology pharmacists, cancer doctors and cancer nurses. She said the organization is seeking the support of the U.S. mission in Nigeria and the Oncology Pharmacy Association of Nigeria to bring two U.S. board-certified oncology pharmacists from the United States to Nigeria to provide the training. Nigeria's federal government, through the Federal Ministry of Health, launched the National Cancer Control Plan 2018-2022 with seven areas of priority, including cancer prevention, diagnosis, treatment, with a budget of $97 billion, and that is $308 million. To support the Nigerian government's National Cancer Control, Control Plan, Project Pink Blue, with support from the U.S. Mission in Nigeria in 2018, started Upgrade Oncology, a U.S.-Nigeria Science and Technology Exchange Program. The goal is to strengthen the capacity of the Nigerian healthcare workers and oncology professionals through training in diverse oncology areas in partnership with Full Bright Specialist Program and Federal Ministry of Health. Through Upgrade Oncology, we brought two U.S.-based medical oncologists, that is cancer experts, to Nigeria to train 44 Nigerian clinical oncologists who updated knowledge on medical oncology which focus on breast, prostate, leukemia, childhood, colorectal cancers, and pregnancy in cancer patients. We had doctors from 11 university teaching hospitals and some private facilities in Nigeria. This year, Project Pink Blue, with support from Aspire Coronation Trust Foundation, is launching the 2021 Upgrade Oncology, which primarily focuses on the training of oncology pharmacists, cancer doctors, and cancer nurses. We are seeking the support of the U.S. Mission Nigeria and Oncology Pharmacy Practitioners Association of Nigeria, OPAN, to bring two U.S. board certified oncology pharmacists from the United States to Nigeria to provide this training. A consultant hematologist at the Federal Ministry of Health, Dr. Uche Nwoku, on his part, disclosed some of federal government's disclosed some of federal government's efforts in tackling the scourge of cancer in the country. He further said the government will do all it can to tackle the menace of cancer in Nigeria. These are the areas government have focused um, recently. And now, in terms of in terms of treatment, you know, I mentioned the therapy where government has um, uh, provided the therapy facilities and the guidelines. Government has also collaborated with some other partners to establish what we we'll call Cancer Access Partnership Program (CAP). Okay, so that program is meant to provide cancer medicines at less than 50% the costs. 
Okay, so if that if the drug in the in our open market costs about a thousand naira, this program will make reduce to five hundred naira. So this will help most patients to have access, and it is already operational in twelve hospitals. And Minister of Health has approved that we should expand to another twenty hospitals to another eight hospitals to make it twenty hospitals. So that means the next one or two months we are going to have these drugs in at least twenty hospitals across the country. And these drugs involve virtually every kind of medicine that is used in cancer treatment from what we call the conventional chemotherapy to what we call targeted therapy, where um, what we call biologics, okay, those are more expensive ordinarily, but on this program, it's going to be at least half the price. With a high number of health workers leaving the country, we hope that the federal government will give full attention to this aspect of our health sector in order to stop the trend.